it's been um, it's been really hard. Words cannot express. <laughs> Doctors cannot explain. They're not sure what he can actually un you know understand. It's believed that um, that he doesn't you know comprehend. Um, it's more of just you know his his body you know is still you know going. Valerie Rodriguez says her husband Frank of 18 years is now bedridden, requires 24 hour care and on multiple medications after suffering from a pulmonary embolism, a blood clot that traveled from his lower body and blocked the airway to his lungs. You know, he, he does open his eyes, he looks around. Valerie keeps her family and friends posted on Facebook. She quit working to care for him full time, all while trying to keep normalcy at home for her three boys. Plus, keep her faith despite their circumstances since April. And just recently, she was reminded of how there is still some good in their lives when her son's school counselor called. She said that, um, that uh, Larry likes to pick a family from from one of the schools um, and just uh, one that's um, kind of struggling um, that's having you know some hard times and um, and she you know knew the, our story and um, so she chose Aaron. Larry Savala proudly wears his cause on his sleeve or t-shirt in honor of his son. For the last 10 years, he and volunteers have collected toys for families in crisis. Those families are identified by Pasadena ISD administrators, then invited to a special Christmas celebration. They'll be fed and given unwrapped gifts to take home, like you see in previous years. It makes sense to, to me as a father, uh, my son's death, uh, when I see these families come in, because if it wasn't for that, this wouldn't have happened. Mr. Zavala says his son was an innocent 26 year old victim who was gunned down in 2006. And even though they buried his body, they didn't bury his name. That's why they try to spread Christmas cheer. They know firsthand what many of these families are not only going through, but in need of as the holidays approach. For the parents, Rita, to see parents come in and, 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 and know that they can just rest just for a moment, it, it, it just let their children enjoy and have fun. Something Valerie says she and her boys are looking forward to, plus a Christmas tree. They're a little behind schedule since it was usually her husband's job, but she's determined to keep their tradition alive. 18 years and um, I just, um, he's just, you know, in sickness and health, you know, until, until death do his part. While Zavala works to keep his son's legacy alive, and together, they'll do both. Rita Garcia, Fox 26 News.